We have the five foot Beetlejuice. Oh. What in the world was that? <laughs> Okay guys, we are in Parma, Ohio at this Spirit Halloween right back here which looks absolutely enormous. Look at this. It goes all the way down to here with the Halloween sign and then all the way up to here at the end of the posters. I have no earthly idea what this used to be, but we are in luck because my friend David from David's Retail Adventures on YouTube works inside this store and he can tell us. Yeah, that's right. But the most awesome thing about this store, this is Spirit Halloween store number 100. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Ha -ha! All right, guys, this is David that I was just telling you about. Hi, everybody. And what did this store used to be? This used to be a Pat Catan's craft store. Before that, it was a giant eagle way back in the day. Pat Catan's, man, I remember trying to get the lights, the checkout lights from Ka Pat Catan's when they were closing. All right, guys, look at this place. It is absolutely enormous. I love it already. And you know what's funny? The feel of this store, for some reason, feels more like the feeling of when I watched the Spirit Halloween movie than when I actually filmed at the store where the movie was filmed. It might be because like half the lights are out, so it makes it kind of dark and spooky in here. But anyways, let's get moving here. We have Nazi right here, right front and center. I've never seen him right up in the front. He is so loud in this enormous store. And you know what else, guys? When he turns back on, listen closely. I never knew that he actually has music playing as well as his laugh. Listen. Like a little Halloween bar to set the mood. I can't Can you hear it? It's been so loud in these stores, I've never heard the music playing. Kind of like with Bottomless Joe. I never knew he had music either. All right, Nazi, take your hot jalapeno nose, because we're going to come over here and see the Tombstone of Terror. Now, this guy, it's funny because his sensor, there he goes. <laughs> oh, my God, he has one eye. I bet he read the map wrong. That's how he ended up right here instead of the regular cemetery, because he read the map wrong. Excuse me, sir, we already talked to you. All right, guys, let's come on over here, because here is an inflatable that I have not yet seen blown up anywhere. I was considering getting him, especially when I found the Frankenstein, because the Frankenstein is totally awesome. And this guy is awesome too. He's huge. However, that outfit looks way too much like Homer Simpson. I just don't know. <laughs> because I just, all I can see is Homer Simpson ever since somebody said that to me. Let's just walk right up on him because you can see he's absolutely enormous. And he does look awesome. Like, that's an awesome picture right there. But when you step back and you see that outfit, all I can think is Homer. And then there's this guy. I am so glad that I finally bought this guy. I have looked at him so many times this season, and I just wasn't sure what to think of him because just looking at the box, you really can't get a feel for what these things really look like when they're blown up. But he is absolutely huge. I started seeing him blown up in stores just about a week or two ago. Look how enormous he is. I am so glad that I bought him. I can't wait to blow him up. And if you guys wanna see that happen, come over to my other channel called That Nate Guy on Halloween. I'm gonna be blowing up all my new inflatables on that channel. All right, let's go right here through the tunnel of the bubbles of death. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't believe it. As I'm looking at this stuff, I just was reminded, this is store number 100. This is the last store, guys. Holy crap, my heart just dropped. This is the last time we're gonna walk through the bubbles of death, unless I go to the clearance sales. <laughs> but look at this. The beautiful bubbles of death tubes. You can hear the electricity up here trying to kill me. Look at these. Okay, here's, this is funny. They're all in a totally different, like, version. Like, this one is working exactly how it should. It's bright, it's beautiful, it's bubbling. 
then this one over here is still bubbling totally awesome, but it's like very murky. And then this one on the other side, it's bubbling pretty good, but not perfectly. And then this one over here is just barely bubbling. Like there's a small fish down there who's trying to breathe. And there's the chains of death. Is the monitor working? Oh yeah, there he is, Jack himself. All right, let's come on out here because we have somebody else set up here. It is the inflatable Sam. That is one of the only inflatables that I did not buy this year. No, actually, there's a whole bunch I didn't buy, but he's one of them that I didn't buy. I just kind of like to go for the bigger ones, and I think he's only, what is he? He's four feet tall. He's pretty awesome, and I still may get him, but he's here like every year, so... I could get him next year. All right, let's come over here because they still have a Monty set up, guys. Check this out. And look at Monty's feet. It's the normal feet. What the heck was up with Monty's feet in that other store we went to? That was really weird. Okay, Monty, do you work? He works. Monty actually works. Okay, he kind of works. <laughs> okay, here he goes. He's so quirky. And I don't know why that is. Some people have told me that it's just the connection going to the uh, to the step pad. Right now he's working perfectly fine. But yeah, a lot of times he's real quirky, like his eyes will flash, he'll start to work and then he stops. Anyways, good job, Monty. Okay, let's come on out here through the store and see what we can find. Wow, look at this, guys. They have like a billion light up marshmallow helmets. They have one tombstone of terror over here. It's reduced to $96. Let's see why. The jumping mechanism has issues and retracts incorrectly. Okay, let's keep on moving here, guys. They have a ton of fog machines. We got a sitting Sam doll. Those are hard to find at this time of the season. And look at this. They even have a sign-up that's starting November 1st, everything's 25% off. Starting November 2nd, everything's 50% off. But man, they are probably going to be wiped out long before then. And we got this enormous guy back here. I am so glad that I bought him when I did. I mean, not like he sold out or anything, but he's just enormous, and I'm so glad that I was able to see what he looks like inflated. I, I, I just don't even know what to say that he's just huge. <laughs> I know what to say. He needs the Aquafresh. Look at those yellow teeth. You know what? Let's leave some stickers for this guy. Oh, boy. Wouldn't it figure that one of the last standing animatronics would be this chick? Why do you have to be so loud right now? I don't want to hear the evilness coming out of your mouth. Please stop saying the evil. Oh my gosh. She seriously is the loudest animatronic I've heard this entire season. <laughs> All right, let's walk past the blue bubbles of death and come on over here, guys, to the electrical experimental room of death. I love how everything is of death. Let's pull the switch of death. All right, anyways, let's go ahead through here, guys. I see that these uh, fans are working. So we got the monitors going here. I don't hear anything else right now. It's kind of spooky when you walk in here and it's very quiet. Let's take a step. Will it buzz us to death? It's buzzing us to death. Will it electrocute? Yes! It's electrocuting us to death! Okay, it was electrocuting us to death. It's electrocuting us to death! <laughs> it's always hilarious when people see me doing this crap in here. All right, let's look at the creepy dolls that they have left. We have a creepy cracked head baby doll. We have a Hugs the Clown. I still don't know why his head is always hanging forward like that. We have three Three pumpkin nesters and one Rosalie. And look at this, guys. I don't know if I've seen this in any stores. It's probably there, but I just didn't notice it. The Rick and Morty portal gun. What the heck? That's pretty cool. All right, we got the evil devils. We have, let's see, who do we have down here? Oh, we got this one. Oh, we have more. We have one, two, three, four guys who definitely need to eat some serious Tic Tacs. I'm talking about like a whole box. And look at this. I haven't looked at this at all this season. The Extreme Haunted Sound Effects box. 27 spine-tingling sounds. Oh, yes, the secret-keeping cats. I wonder if it describes anywhere, like, what the sounds actually are, or if you just have to kind of listen and... 
creaking door. Okay. I think that's actually going to come home with me today because that is pretty dang cool. All right, hold on. We have one live wire here, guys. I was going to try to wait and get these on clearance because, man, they're 50 bucks a piece. That is just a lot, but I love how they electrify my face. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I will wait and see. That 50 bucks for that is just a good chunk of money. Let's take this, though. We do have these hanging ghouls and goblins. And look at this. Wow, they have a whole bunch of Wolfman inflatables and skeleton inflatables. In fact, that's just about all they have except for the Fright in the Box over here and the two scary clown archways. Oh, no, one scary clown archway and one scarecrow archway. All right, let's take a quick look at the masks back here and see just what they have, because I'm curious if they are sold out of the other things, just like they are in other stores, the Michael Myers, the Leatherface, the Freddy, and the Ghostface, and I don't see any of them. So yeah, those were the hot sellers this year, guys. And it's funny how this guy showed up like right at the end of the season. It's the burlap horror, but they're just calling him Scarecrow Set. Would you like some collard greens? All right, if they have any scream stuff left just for kids even, it'll be right here. And yeah, wow, they actually do have a pretty good selection left in the kids department. I mean, compared to what other stores have at this time, they actually have one, two, three, four, five costumes and one little tiny chrome ghost face mask. And we have two killer clowns inflatables right here. I thought those things would all sell out really quick this year. Lots of pajamas left. If they fit me, I'd buy some, but I'm a big guy. Which is not a bad thing, it just means I'm large and in charge. Look at this, they have a whole bunch of the trick-or-treat bags left. These are pretty cool. I love how they're shaped like a hand, and then there's a bag like going down through the middle of the hand. This one's a pumpkin. This one, is this an alien here? Yeah, this one's an alien. You can't really see him very well because the hand in the way, but we looked at this one before. This is a Slimer, and then we got the skeleton with a skeleton hand, and this one's cool. The skeleton ripping out of the bag and a skull that you put the candy in the mouth. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. It looks like the only bouncy heads they have left in the whole store is Sam. Hello, Sam. Hello, Sam. <laughs> they have plenty of Sam greeters, a couple of Chucky greeters. See, this is what I'm talking about. They even have more of the inflatable sitting Sams, and they have those every year, so I might get one next year. They have gremlins and ghost face bobbleheads, as well as two crouchies. I thought those would all be sold out by this time of the year. They also have a Sam groundbreaker. They do have the Pizza Planet jacket here, which I absolutely love, as well as the Krusty Krab jacket. I don't know which one I love more. I love the Krusty Krab because he has the pizza on the back. The pizza for you and me. And I love the Pizza Planet just because, well, it's Pizza Planet. I don't see Billy Butcherson's head in here or over here. And really, I don't regret buying it. It's one of those things they have out every year. So if they have it next year, maybe I'll get it then. Excuse me, miss, we've already talked to you. They have a ton of Haunted Mansion stuff left over here. I wonder if that means it just wasn't all that uh, popular this season. Excuse me, you're being very loud and annoying. We have the five foot Beetlejuice. Oh. What in the world was that? <laughs> and I do like this box right here, guys, this crate, how it says experiment number four. That would actually be a pretty cool prop to have. I'll tell you guys one other thing that I'm tempted to buy. Okay, two things. For some reason, I really want the giant scissors. I have no idea why, but I want them. But I am very tempted to get the one-eyed baby on a stick. Like, what in the heck is that even? It's like a walking stick. Like, you hold onto the baby's head and just kind of walk like this. And then you just see a friend and you're like, hey, how's it going there, buddy? I know you saw what I was doing. You don't have to stare. This guy's, like, horrified by the baby head on a stick. And this guy's like, yeah, no, I totally get it. All right, let's leave some stickers for the Fright in the Box here. Let's leave some stickers for Mr. Inflatable Skeleton here, right behind the post. And let's leave some for Sam. Okay, guys, it's time to take one last walk around the final spirit halloween visit of the season store number 100 let's go say goodbye to everyone i know you think it's funny but it hurts my heart goodbye nazi 
Goodbye, Tombstone of Terror. Goodbye, Inflatable Homer Simpson. I mean, Werewolf. Goodbye, Inflatable Skelebones. Goodbye, Monty. Goodbye, Inflatable Sitting Sam. Goodbye, Reduced Price Tombstone of Terror. Goodbye, Spiky. Goodbye, Pennywise. Goodbye, Chucky Greeter. Goodbye, Inflatable Fright in a Box with the Yellow Teeth. Goodbye, Beetlejuice Snakes. Good riddance. Ugh. Goodbye, Ouija mugs. Goodbye, bad breath. Yeah, I wish. Get you some Aquafresh. Goodbye, screaming white eye nurse. Goodbye, cracked head creepy baby doll. Goodbye, hugs doll. Goodbye, Rosalie. Goodbye, pumpkin nester. Goodbye, green headed clown and kicking clown. Goodbye, rubber chicken. <laughs> Goodbye, Double Eye. Goodbye, El Wire of Doom. And goodbye, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Don't forget what I said about the Botox. Goodbye, One Eye and One Eye. Stay away from maps and get to the optometrist, like, quick. Goodbye, Miraculous Plush Buddies and Secret Keeping Cats. Goodbye, Killer Clowns Inflatables. Goodbye, Pajamas for One and All. Except for me, but I'm working on that. And goodbye, Sam and Sam and Sam and Sam and Sam and Sam and Sam. Goodbye, little fella. Goodbye, Lala and Poe and Dipsy and Tinky Winky. Goodbye, Chains of Death. And goodbye, Random Hanging Skull. And goodbye, Electrical Tunnel of Death. And goodbye, Bubbles of Death. I'll miss you most of all. All right, guys, that was an absolutely awesome time but I'm so sad as I walk away. Store number 100, Parma, Ohio. Before we go, we gotta say one more thing. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and happy Halloween!